Hello Lightworkers, it's PEI's medium Juanita Baird here. I'm here to give you your upcoming Angel Card reading for Monday, May 30th until Sunday, June the 5th. I am really looking forward to the week ahead. This coming weekend, I'm going to be spending it in beautiful Western PEI in Tignish. I have two events on Saturday. Saturday afternoon, I'm giving a free public lecture about Angel's Talk. Uh, it will be all about what angels I work with, what angels are around you, and I'll be sharing some stories about angels and my work with angels and hopefully giving out a few angel messages to a few people in the audience. And then later that evening from 7 to 9, I'm also hosting an evening of spirit messages at the Tignish Heritage Inn. Tickets for that event can be purchased on my website, www.ronnytobeardpei.com. If you go to the home page and there's a click on here to purchase tickets, it'll take you directly to the ticket purchase page. So I hope to see as many of you as possible in Western PEI this coming weekend. So as we look, look forward to this coming week and all of the wonderful things that are going to be happening, I've been guided to use the Messages from Your Angels Oracle Card Deck. It's a beautiful deck with lots of beautiful colors. I just love this aqua blue color and all of the different angels that will pop up in this particular card deck. One of the things that's really interesting about these angel card decks is that there's 44 cards in each deck. Having multiple numbers of fours increases the vibration of the angelic realm in this deck of cards. If you see repeated numbers, this one wants to come out Monday, Tuesday. If you see repeated numbers like fours, multiple fours, it's a sign that angels are with you and they're working with you and guiding you. So keep an eye out. Look at your a civic number. Look at your telephone number. Look at the numbers that call you during the week. Is there multiple fours in them? Because that's a sign that the angels are around you and they're working with you. So I've drawn three cards, the first one for Monday, Tuesday, the second one representing Wednesday, Thursday, and the third one, the upcoming weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So the first card I pull over is the Athena card. And the message is, it is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So many of us don't recognize our own power within, our own self-confidence, and our own ability to just be who we are. So many of us fight that within us. And when I, when I connect with the energy of this card, I hear the angel say, know that it is powerful to just be who you are in a loving and gentle way. So many people think that power comes from being angry or being assertive. No. People can still be powerful from within by speaking their truth softly, gently, and as the individual that they are. If you're guided to be an individual just like that, know that, that you can call on the angels to lend you the support, lend you their guidance, and to most of all work with you so that you can reach within yourself to recognize your own power in this world. Wednesday, Thursday. Teresa, time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. So, so many of you light workers and earth angels are all about giving and doing for others and neglecting yourself. So this card is speaking volumes to, hold on, take a break. It's time for others to start caring for you and helping you. If we don't have that balance within our lives, if we're constantly giving away and not allowing ourselves to receive, there's a big imbalance. But we have to realign ourselves in a balanced way, which will support us, support our family as well. As we are supported, 
our family will be supported as well. So know that if you allow yourself to receive as much as you give, then everything will equal out. It will be an equilibrium and balance. And then just like a ripple effect, that will play into your family's lives as well. And what a better, there's no better lesson to teach your own children, your own family, than self-care. Right? Earth angels. Coming into the weekend. Oh, I really like this one. Indrio. This is the cover of See? Same angel. So what a great way to end off our week with the weekend. You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. And what that speaks to is just a continuation of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It, this week it's all about you. It's all about you recognizing the individual within you and recognizing how powerful that individual is. It's taking the next step to bring balance into your life so that you're both giving and receiving equally. And coming into the weekend, it's just the confirmation that you are needed in this world now. You're not needed to be anybody else but the individual that you are. So know that you are a light worker, that your light, the more happy and the more relaxed you are within your own skin, that light within you will radiate through your pores, out into your family, your friends, your community, and then they'll pick up on that energy too. And it's like a vibrational shift that is happening and occurring. So know that you are important. You're the most important piece of the puzzle. It's all about self-care, self-love, and allowing that light within you to shine also brightly. So take care of yourselves this coming week. It looks like a wonderful week ahead. I'm sending you lots of love, light, angel blessings. If you can get out to hear me in West Prince this coming weekend, please do so. We'd love to see you. Take care.